Welcome everybody, Highly OK Podcast, we're back again. It's uh, been about three or four days, we've had a great response on our last video, thank you so much if you like and shared with that one. This is a new one and we've got our new and, you know, special guest, which I'm so happy to have on, okay, it's Shlovan. Wow! The, the celebrity, he's gonna leave me hanging, he's left me hanging. <laughs> And uh, you know who he is, he's the Kurdish Vine King, he's the gym motivational guy, he's the protein H- H&F I'm excited <laughs> to be part of the biggest podcast in all of Iraq <laughs> words of That's right, that's no, right, and then we've got Sam, you know, already know Sam, You're the chat you. shitter Thank you, yeah, you know how <laughs> I appreciate that <laughs> yeah, it's all I know right. what right now Okay, so uh, Shlovan, you've been here for two days now, right? Yep Two days and how's it been so far, man? It's been the second time since you've been back since you've been a celebrity, right? <laughs> uh, don't, don't embarrass me. No, our uh, second time being back. It's my second day here. Mm-hmm. Absolutely love it. Came back to promote the H and F store. Yeah, uh, it's been awesome. The turnout has been amazing. Grateful for everything and everyone in Kurdistan. Every time we come back, I. I feel like a celebrity when I come back. Yeah, yeah. I feel like a loser there. <laughs> <laughs> so fair it feels enough, good. Fair enough, yeah, yeah. I see people a lot. I see it on your Snapchat. A lot mm. of people turn up even to those uh, stores. Yep, uh, the turnout the first day we had over five hundred people no come mm. out. Um, fitness has grown so much. So in much. Kurdistan. There's a gym in just about every corner. Yeah. There used that's to be a Nergal uh, shop every corner. <laughs> yeah. Now it's a I think gym at every corner. Um, so I think. It's a great um, time future. to be a fitness person. <laughs> you get into it at the beginning. Yeah. yeah first, yeah. Uh, it's a good business to be in. That's the whole Andreas Kirdu. Yeah. And you know, our number one goal is to help people. And anytime you help people, um, you mu- you gotta want everybody to succeed. And um, that's the only way you'll succeed is if you want others. To exactly. Do and well. you're you're encouraging good behavior from people. You're encouraging people to be disciplined to be healthy you know what i mean and that's why it's grown a lot and you've been a big part of that i mean obviously if anyone doesn't know uh, you've probably uh, yeah been living under a rock again you know what i mean how many followers do you have uh 630 something now that's not bad 630,000 by that's the way <laughs> yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it started off it started off uh, doing kurdish vines mm-hmm. right you were just doing stereotypical Things that you saw in Kurdish culture for your mom and dad growing yep. up in America, right? Yep. And nobody has done that before. That's, that's nobody had done that. Yeah, 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 it was very creative. Yeah, I was the first one to do vines in Kurdish. Um, the thing just blew up. <laughs> you um, can say whatever you want. So you yeah, oh. catchphrases. Yeah, go ahead. You already know. You, you already know. know. Uh, but yeah, Shtakazore um, uh, Everybody could relate to it, and I think that's the yeah. reason it blew up. Everybody's like, "That's my mom. That's my dad." <laughs> yeah, you know? that's true. And I know that person. Yeah. <laughs> so habu man, yani aman zani bas daki khoman wa yam. Turned into Kurdish all of a sudden. Yeah, for real, for real. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It turned, uh, but yeah, so everybody could relate to it, and that's why it just got so big right away. And I did that for mm. three, four years, and I kind of slowed down now. Yeah. And everybody, you know, always says, Why did you stop? Why did you stop? It's not that I stopped, I kind of grew out of it. Right. You know, yeah, um, yeah, I and I want to, and I don't want to. Keep on going, keep on going, and not put out the best material because I'm a hundred percentionist. Yeah, I've noticed that about you. I mean, I, when you came back last time, uh-huh. I remember we done one video, me and Shlovan. I mean, I was part of the, one of the videos mm-hmm. with him, and it just like you know, he if he didn't get it right, he wouldn't want it to get out. And you know, if you if you don't want it, if, you, if it's not hundred percent, why would you exactly. want to do that? Exactly, I'm a Virgo. I like I'm a perfectionist <laughs> to the core. <laughs> it starts with him. Yeah. I always make my little sister cry when she's recording me because I'm like, oh, yo. No. Again, 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 and like a 15 second video will take sometimes an hour just because yeah, I like it to I be was. perfect, otherwise, I'm not gonna upload it. Yeah, how long, but by the way, how long did it take for you to realize that you know, there a lot of people like your stuff? How many videos was it? Do you remember? I remember it was the one with the when how Chris uh, take pictures. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Yeah, oh, was it that one? Yes. But I remember, wasn't your first one the one where you see a sheep and he's like, <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. was it that one? Yeah, man. I, Honestly, within like the first video I uploaded, it was just for fun. I don't know how we even had a mustache in the house. I just put it on and I said, <laughs> <laughs> And even that one got 
like uh, so many comments, and I was like, huh. All right. Comments, likes. Let's do another. Let's find it. Yeah, it motivated me basically. So uh, let me ask you though. Yes. Let me ask you. When was the moment where you sat down in your house and you were like, all right, now I gotta put woman's dress on. <laughs> like, that's the point of life. I'm Wait, like, how, you know, I did it because, like, uh, it was hard to find another female who wanted to be in <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's so what I was saying. Yeah, that's you, what you can't about. find that. You know? For yeah, some yeah, roles, uh, and it's a lot funnier for a guy to see the messiah. You know, it was. Yeah, you true, can true, tell true. he's a man, but he's turned himself into a. Female. I mean, definitely the shoulders. And exactly, the, it's just yeah. a lot funnier, and people. Are Especially like, when he's a gym bro. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 but for sale, it's a lot funnier, I think. It makes it more funny when it's a guy who's yeah. turning himself into a female rather than a female just saying, the best, uh, you yeah, know. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Because uh, you look like an animal. It's yeah. a lot funnier than an actual true, female true, doing true, it. True, so true. just playing the character. And, yeah. Yeah. So oh, you transition into do just doing a lot of gym advice now. Uh, Shilla yeah, Fitness, right? And yeah. Come on, fitness, at Shilla Shilla Fitness. Follow me on the ground, baby. Yeah. Come on, yeah. everyone, everyone, wants to get, everyone wants to get fit, baby. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Follow it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not that I've completely stopped because I think the vibes are a part of me because I like to think I have a good sense of humor. We I, can like, tell, I, I like to we think can that. Tell, um, so, and I, th- I love making people laugh. I mean, since I was like very little, they used to say a clock say zilla, you know, uh, blah, 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 blah. So I've always liked making people laugh. So I haven't completely stopped, but fitness is something that I love and that I do Definitely. daily. Yeah. So yeah. why not encourage others to do it? And like we said, it's growing so much. Everybody in Kurdistan is doing it now. So it's a great time to be a part of it. Regardless of like what you're affiliating yourself with in mm-hmm. terms of working out and like these sponsors and these mm-hmm. people, like th- it's really going on, uh, going well for you. And mm-hmm. I'm happy. Thank you. But even without that, you were still going at it like years before. Mm-hmm. I was following you online, and I would uh, like um, if you, you just like look to do back this. at some of my um, oldest posts, uh, uh, I uploaded you know fitness photos of yeah, me flexing yeah. at the gym because it was something that I, I always said if. You don't truly love something that's not a passion mm. you're not gonna succeed in it and yeah. you know people can see right through you if you're just doing it for you know to benefit whether it's you know money wise for sponsors yeah. or if you truly love it and for anybody who you know follows me on snapchat i go to the gym every single day yeah. Yeah. you true, can't fake true. going twice a day to the gym eating yeah. you know, sometimes you go you do go twice, twice a day it, yeah you so you can't fake uh something that you're doing every single quick day. question uh, mm. how many hours did you sleep last night not enough. <laughs> I, I, ever since I've been in Kurdistan, How much is that? Ever, I'm just, mm, whatever it is, because the fact is, you you you've been up all day five. working all yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. He comes to me so the first me- remember I seen him like a, an hour ago. He's like, bro, have you been to the gym? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. true. That was the I'm like, uh, yeah, but aren't you tired, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You, I, I never. I don't know why. When, once the gym comes, I'm like just. <laughs> get full of energy, yeah, you know. Yeah. Like if I don't go one day, I feel like I put on twenty pounds. I know how you feel, man. It becomes a habit. When it becomes a habit, it's so hard to let go. People on, man. always tell me they're like, uh, I don't have time to go. I'm like, if you know, if you truly like it, like it becomes part of your day. Like you said, yeah. If, yeah. Just like how I eat, how I sleep, I yeah. also go to the gym. Exactly. I have to do it. So mm. no excuses, no bullshit. Oh, there's really no excuses. That's right, but that. But you do like to eat some good food as well. I've, I've been watching Mom. it. Every time you come back, like, every time you come back. <laughs> Me and Shadow, we were actually just talking about that in the car. Uh, tell, tell them about that meal that you had. Man, <laughs> like, everywhere we go, they're like, what do you have? I'm like, dushish kebab, brinjek, like, al kozi, like, al brinjek, ki kei sada. But do not know. I swear to God. And right away, I feel sleepy right afterwards. So I think I've gained. <laughs> but then, which I, you can yeah. see from my face my face is like fluffy uh literally every person i see they're like did you just wake up I'm yeah like, but it was like what why? two weeks ago that you yeah, were in a competition ago, i was 180 pounds which is what like, was your body fat percent- percentage like you could pull my skin i had i saw that i man. had dick skin i don't want to say <laughs> that, but I, you know you could pull that so yeah. i was 180 pounds and now i'm like 207 Whoa, fuck. And so I put on like 25 that's pounds. That's some good paklawa. Like it's too good, man. I can't say no. Paklawa has always been my weak point. Really? Man. You know about and it's the worst. It's, it's the worst. It's, 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 it's all, it's, it's all sugar. But, but which one's your favorite? Is it the one with the, my one's the one with the thing around and then there's mass inside. There's some sort of... Uh, kanafa. Uh, no, 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 no. Zanur, Zanur, Zanur. I think so. 
Kunaf is amazing. As I well, love. Man. You know when you said because I haven't had it for such a long time living abroad, especially of in course, America. Of course, of course. Like I walked into the store today before even eating. I said, "Let me Snapchat everything for <laughs> my <laughs> followers to see because man, everything here is good. Like even the tea. I've been drinking the tea. The tea's so been, like, oh, yeah." Bro, like the, the most basic Weird. stuff. When I was when I was in London, obviously the, I could, did have a chance to have rice and soup, right? Right. But when I come here, they just do it a hundred times better because that's all they do. I don't know what, I mean? know what it is. But but let me ask you, like obviously um, you growing up in America, mm. um, you are raised by proper Kurdish parents. Yeah. Do you think that like because you were in America, you had like an upper hand in? Uh, doing vines and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Why is it that someone in Kurdistan didn't do it, but someone in America did? I, I think to be... Was it the freedom in to America? To be completely honest, cool. um, I think me being in America attracted people more right? because I'm wearing shawal amongst so many Americans. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. different. If you're wearing shawal in Kurdistan, mm. you're just wearing your... Just well, another you guy know, wearing shawal. Exactly. True, and true. when you're... You know, when you're Dancing out for you know, in front of so many Americans. Walmart. Exactly, we're in Walmart. People are like, he's crazy, but I like him. You know? <laughs> uh, so I think being in America, I mean, did give me advantage. But I, I always say there's no excuse. If you want to do something, you know, you can do fuck it. Fuck your yeah, environment. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. there's no excuse. If you want to do it, you can do it. You, you, you were telling me in America, like, mm-hmm. uh, when you were filming, things are like so normal there, like. Imagine you're going to a shopping center mm-hmm. and you just got, like, you know, you got your phone all around mm-hmm. and stuff. That sh- that stuff is normal. No one really bothers you. Yeah, there, nobody right? really cares. I mean, yeah. especially when I was doing the vines, like I wasn't even thinking about what other people are looking at me. You know, America it's big. There's so many different characters. Mm-hmm. Where in Kurdistan, you know, it's promoted for everybody to act the same and be the same. America, yeah. it's promoted to be you, be mm-hmm. different. Yeah, definitely. So. When when I was recording my vines, I didn't really care. I my, took my little sister. I said, "Record me." <laughs> 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 like, with, yeah, that uh, takes balls, man. Like, with a wig on in fun. Walmart, which is like no, the busiest yeah. store, you know. That's and so funny. Sometimes but I would go at twelve at night to kind of miss. <laughs> right, 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 right. Walmart is known for to have like crazy people. Cra- like, I know is some it? crazier than the, you know. The, I actually. Uh, used to work at Walmart. Really? That was my first job ever, by the way. I worked at Walmart Serious. for uh, two years and eight months. And so for, you know, for sometimes people look at you on social media, they're like, oh man, he lives the high life. No. Yeah. He's got it good. No. But man, I worked at Walmart, which is the lowest of the low. You know, it's Minimum a supermarket. Wage, right? mm. I hated it. I hated yeah. it. Yeah. I used to bag people's, uh, what is it groceries. called? Groceries. And I, I could ask them, could my I said, would you like your milk in a bag? I used to go, no. And then I'd be like, okay. They're like, actually, I changed my mind. Ah, never oh. mind. I don't. <laughs> That's all it takes to oh, get out of the Like, so I think that was one of, <laughs> it was a, I hated the job, but I, now that I think back, I'm so glad that I had it because uh, I think it helps me tell a better story because yeah. you know if somebody there's so much negativity going on and people are like uh, I don't want to do this I don't want to do this job I, I don't like it I'm like you gotta start somewhere mm, yeah. like I used to back people's tomatoes you know yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. three years 100% it's right? questionable sometimes of course yeah it's the smallest crime you can do like <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, you uh, you definitely have to start somewhere and build up slowly, slowly. Yeah. That's the American like, dream, bro. You're Are being. You uh, I think you listen to a lot of motivational videos yes. yourself. Like, is that what you do all day, every day? No, I. I, I, I <laughs> what damn, <laughs> bro, I'm I'm not yeah. that down on my life now. <laughs> yeah, so you seem like you're doing a motivational speech like, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Boom! I don't. I you know one um one winter because. Uh, uh, one winter I, I didn't work for like six months mm-hmm. and it was the worst time of my life because I was depressed because I had nothing to do yeah and that's yeah. why I always tell people here you know get a job like literally I think that's the first step in having course, a better man. life because it does keep you sane it, it, keeps it you gives you a purpose as well like sometimes really when you have when you're sitting at home you're overthinking you're just sitting there L- looking at the wall for like an, an 10 hours. That's when the existential crisis Exactly, man. Just go up, get up, do something. Do so, and everything yeah, becomes everything. so much better because 
you just overthink everything because exactly, you have yeah. nothing to do. Yeah. So I, it was like one of the worst and times I, I, of my and some, life. You know, you're broke as well. That doesn't help. <laughs> yeah. No, with nobody. <laughs> no, no. Yourself, the parents, the ladies, nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. <laughs> no way. Have a little money and they'll think, you know, Tom Cruise had that. But uh, anyway, so uh, <laughs> that winter was like the worst period of my life. And I just needed something to do. And I got into books, audio books. Okay, okay. And I wrote, I read The Automatic Millionaire, Rich Dad and Poor Dad. That's uh, a great book. They Can Grow Rich, a uh, bunch of books by uh, Dale Carnegie. And man, the motivation oh. just went up the roof. Um, How long after that winter did you start doing the vines? No, this no, that was, was, this this was like literally a year ago. Yeah. No. Yes. yes. That's crazy. So I was... Because I had nothing to do. Right, right, right. I was right. just literally depressed being home all of day course, long. Of course, man, of course. You know, but the books, like, really... I've, I've done the research, baby. Changed my... Oh, bro, the bro. books changed my life, and I hate reading, by the way, for anybody. I <laughs> hate reading. Audiobooks can help. Them. But, like, oh, but I do audiobooks, because you can listen to it That's, at the yeah, gym. Yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. Um, so, so... so uh, when you started the Kurdish Vine thing, shout out to Sungar by the way. Yeah, yeah. for real, <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> you told me to shout him out, so shout out so, to Sungar. So Sungar is your Sangar was your manager when you were doing the tour around here, right? Actually, yeah, now let's say. All right, whatever. But uh, we, we, he, he, before we started the podcast, <laughs> he told us about this one advice that because obviously before we started life the, changing, uh, bro. life changing advice. We were we were putting the cameras on, right? And then we asked Slovan. No, Slovan's like, "Oh, don't worry, I'm good in front of the camera." We're like, "Okay, how?" And then he was like, "My manager, my manager, my manager Sanger told me the the secret is what." What's the he secret? said, "If the camera comes on you and you feel nervous." Don't squeeze your butt cheeks. <laughs> Stop clenching your butt cheeks. And I remember the first TV show I ever did was on NRT. And it was, I don't know, it was like a news. It was a serious broadcast. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. They were interviewing me and I was getting super nervous. <laughs> so I'm like, what do I do? Then I'm like, oh. And I just released my butt cheeks. And, and everything came out. out. Thank God. God. Everything changed. And I was just super confident. So oh, to this day, whether... Um, the camera's on me. I'm talking to a lady. Oh, <laughs> just spread it. Oh my god, spread that's spread soft, baby. And hope nothing comes out. That's <laughs> oh, blow me. That's the best. That's, word that's the secret to life, man. Oh, Guys, that was really look, look. The less you know, the less you know. Sponsored by the less you know. Sure that, yeah. Don't squeeze them if you're nervous. <laughs> if try it, it really works. I'll take your word for it, man. No, both maybe, yeah, <laughs> maybe next time in an exam. <laughs> <laughs> it helps. Yeah, for real, man. Oh, man. There's a lot of techniques, man. There's so many techniques that you can take to doing that stuff. But prob- but it's true, you know, because I was, I was speaking to someone, right? And they were talking to me about how they do um, lie detecting, okay? Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, they do a lot of things for lie detecting uh, a person, uh, right. whoever, whoever they're doing the interview with, right? They, they, they'll put like a plaster over your finger mm-hmm. to see if you're sweating. Mm-hmm. They'll uh, put it on your toes because sometimes when you lie, you do that to your toes. Oh, yeah. They put it on your mm-hmm. ass cheek as well because when you get nervous, you clench your ass like you said. It's, uh, oh, it's one of the Bro. biggest muscles, so I'm sure you know, course, you're doing true. something wow. to yeah, it. Yeah, man, th- there's a lot of things that you do yeah. with your body that you don't even portray with your face that you oh, actually, that's true. The, wow. the, 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 uh, you know, uh, things that you can observe yeah. of who's lying and who's not lying. So he, he was the manager for a reason. Yeah. He knew who <laughs> he the best advice he knew to his stuff, You know about all the butt cheek techniques. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. He was a squatter, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure. So uh, you were doing the competition. How long were you dieting for? I dieted for about... Uh, I always like to stay lean, mm. so... I dieted for about. Uh, yeah, you do a lean bulk kind of thing. Don't yeah, you? yeah. I, I do the same because I can't just bulk and. I, I hate lean. being bulky. I hate it, man. If I don't have my abs now, yeah, I'm yeah, I, insecure I've, about it. I've yeah. lost it right now, but I hate being bulky. Uh, I think I like to have a fit and you know like a fitness body. Mm, mm. I have abs all the time. I rather look yeah. good shirtless than exactly. You know, being a big bulge yeah, uh, yeah, in yeah, a hoodie yeah, and a yeah, jacket, yeah. and I'm a show off. <laughs> yeah, go on my page it's half naked yeah, man, uh, shirtless no photos of me but yeah, yeah I dieted about f- four to five months uh, for the competition I always try to eat healthy mm. minus being a <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. so if you see me out <laughs> <Don't judge laughs> yeah this is not part of the <laughs> dieting yeah. um, for four or five months and 
got super lean, face got super skinny. My mom used to always say, God, they really just that that, yeah, that must, that be, must yeah. be so tempting. That right? shit takes a yeah. toll, toll on your body, though. Oh, like, you can't do it often. No, it's and it's not even healthy to be that lean all year yeah, round. Yeah. So it's just for competition and I it's addictive. For, what? But it, there was a certain point, like I was looking at his Snapchat, and he was getting chicken. He's like eating like a chocolate bar. Like, <laughs> yeah. man, that must be so dry. Yeah, right? yeah it does look dry as you, hell when you're trying you, to prep. You like, stop sometimes. thinking of the taste. Like I always tell people, mm. they're like. I can't diet, it's so hard. I'm like, I'm so not sitting by myself, but I, you don't eat for taste anymore when you're doing yeah, it for competition. That's a sacrifice. And exactly, you have to make, and two, like, if you're gonna eat something bad, like think whether 20 seconds of good taste in your mouth is worth that's you losing, yeah. you know, basically giving up uh, the hour and a half that you worked out in the gym. 100%, yeah, that's some, you're that's right, good advice. You're right, you're absolutely right, but sometimes, uh, a lot of people can't keep that cheese, cheeseburger. Right. Right. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the point. I'm not talking by himself. Not to point any fingers. Yeah, it's hard. The diet is the hardest part. Hundred percent. Like, working out is easy. Anybody can. Do it really it. is. Yeah. And it's the most important part too. That's why it's the yeah. hardest. <laughs> well, yeah. the dieting. The diet. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's like 23 hours of the day. Exactly. And you know, four or five meals of eating good, eating healthy. You smell your mom's hot bread, chakra, you know, this much sugar. <laughs> that, that much sugar, yeah. Chakri <laughs> fiyaka and jachai You yeah. know, um, and Kurdish food is all carbs. Of course, it's, yeah. Got the rice. Brinji, what was the rice called that you put the bread under? Plow? Plow, yeah. Brinji yeah. plow. Nana, can said I had to wash banana, so it's carbs on carbs on carbs. Yeah, and, and you know what it is? Like, it's sad because if you go to like somewhere like India, right? Mm -hmm. The way that they make their food taste good is with spices, so with, spices, with yeah. some turmeric, some cumin, some, mm -hmm. some the hot pepper. We just put more oil, bro. Oh, to be honest, and more salt. Yeah, yeah. and more salt. That's it. That, that's the secret to us. We do get our heart problems, but American food's way worse. You know, mm -hmm. they put butter on everything. They, wow, literally, you know, literally, literally cheese. They butter. literally have uh, what is it like? Just basically a fried stick of butter. Like you mm -hmm. can get that there. It's, yeah, American food is the absolute. I try to never eat out. That's uh, yeah. one. But uh, eating at home is not as bad. But obviously, if you're, you know. <laughs> You're a curd, yeah. Curd, you know, you wake up in the morning, hot bread, carbs, yeah. what all, but it's, and my favorite food, by the way, is rice. Yeah. Just white, plain rice, right? White, like, I'll eat that. That's the good stuff, man. Like, <laughs> you, literally, you know. breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so it's, but you gotta make sacrifices, like you said, and. Definitely, yeah, and that's the hardest part. That's uh, what it's about. That's what it's the about, end of the day. How about, I wanna get to your tattoo as well, because it's definitely not something you're hiding. And I know you like the guy, so do you wanna tell us about Who the is tattoo? the guy? This beautiful lady. <laughs> yes, right here. Uh, Hassan Zidak. And um, let's show the camera. Like, uh, so you got a good thing. My brother. <laughs> I'm, I'm, proud, I'm proud. Yeah. So, yeah, so tell what, us what was that? Who's that? Mamli? No, uh, this is Hassan Zidak. Right I know here. that. And this is a uh, Pierre Schmerke on top of a mountain. He's got an AK 47 going like this. Freedom. Free at last. That's Free at last. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I, I got this tattoo. And everybody says, why Hassan Zidak? He's just, you know, uh, I grew up uh, listening to him with my grandpa, yeah. so it kind of reminds me of my grandpa who passed away like 10 years ago. Baba really, yeah. yep, Baba Tawfiq. It reminds me of him. I love his music. When I listen oh, to yeah. his music, it's, you know, it's uh, it's classic, it's love, it's about his own nature. Um, so the mu it's a lot more than the music. It reminds me of people, it reminds see. me of yeah, it's Kurdistan. Nostalgic. It's, nostalgic. it's a little deeper than that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You have personal that. connection. Exactly, and I have this hanging up in my room. I have his carpet hanging up yeah. right by my yeah. bed. Um, so I absolutely love the w guy. Would you say you like him more than any even, even English artist? <laughs> I always say I love him more than 80% of my relatives. <laughs> no joke. And, and so really? is my relatives. So oh, no. Including you, man. <laughs> Hey man, we're totally honest on this show, man. Don't blame this close to hitting you. Yeah, for real. What did you say? English artist? I thought it was obvious. And I've said that. I always say I love it more than eighty percent of my relatives, and I mean that if you're watching. So if you if you go back in time, that's the person you'd meet. Yes, I I don't idolize like anybody. I don't really care about celebrities, none of that. But I just I I I love Hassan Zidak. He's he's the man. Funny story, um. When I was coming back from uh, 
uh, basically from Chicago, we went to Ardenham, Daragal Peshawar. Okay. When we came back on a plane, there were a bunch of people who had just came back from Hajj. Okay. You know, these two Hajis were sitting right across from us. Mm. And I was sitting down, and you know, Hajis, they're older of age, and they were just talking loudly, but they thought they were talking, right. you know, yeah, under their breath. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, so the other guy, you know, he's old, he looks at it, he goes, he's kind of, you know, he's in Kurdish clothes, by the way. So oh, this okay. is super funny, Haji. He looks at it, he goes, Allah Hassan Ziraka. Bahwa make a lachuyakan. Zor Juan And I just thought it was the funniest this thing. Was great analysis. Yeah. Yes, and I went to um, the Hassan Zirak tea store in uh, no, Balsar. Today? Uh, yesterday. Mm-hmm. And it was funny because I, I sat down and I was like looking around everybody and everybody in there is kind of of age mm. and they were like, who is this guy? You know, he's so interested. And I was like, who about my <laughs> I love like, him more. <laughs> you know? I was one. like, I'm the baddest one here. So, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it was. They've done a pretty good job though. That, that's a really good that. tattoo, man. Yeah. Honestly. I, great detail. Listen to it. You guys want to hear a little secret? Go on, go ahead. It's not a secret I, anymore. Bro. I know. It's not going to be after this. I don't want. I'm not to brag or anything, but it cost me uh, three thousand dollars. What? Do it. I know it, it was from one of the top artists. It cost me three thousand dollars, and I told my mom, and she was like, "Oh, <laughs> I was like, "Try to do that." Yeah, try to do that way. Wow, try to do that way. But I'm not hamur or just And I saw so, again going back to the Kurdish mom finding, you know. Cost me almost quadruple that. I told her wow. four hundred dollar. She got super pissed. Yeah, man, you can't. You can't like, okay, that, no way out. <laughs> yeah. Well, they didn't like it though. It's no, they, I mean, yeah. I I always said even with my first tattoo because I have another tattoo that says Kurdistan yeah, on yeah, here, yeah. and it's I told over, like, it's exactly yeah, it's bigger. It says Kurdistan. Um, and I told my dad the first time I was gonna get a tattoo. Okay. And I did this into a vine. He was like, Tattoo chiyoko you know? right. Then after I did the tattoo, my dad, anybody who would come over and guess, he's like, Kurake <laughs> <laughs> So it just starts stripping for every guest. <laughs> 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 like then the guest would look at it like, Zor Juana, because very clearly. <laughs> in the back of his head, yeah. yeah. Do you have a lot of uh, like uh, Kurds that you see in like Nebraska? Because you're in Nebraska, you're in Middle America, bro. Uh, no, I, a lot of Kurds are around. There is, yeah. there is a lot of Kurds there. Uh, I, most people wouldn't believe it. I I probably have two, three friends that I hang out with. Really? Like I hang out with literally nobody. I And they are they Kurdish? Uh two of them are Kurdish. Yeah. One is American, but keep your circle small. Like I literally know everybody and you know, whether it's from me playing soccer from school, I'm just, you know, loud, obnoxious. So yeah. mm-hmm. I know a lot of people, a lot of people know me. In a small town? Yeah, they, yeah. So a lot of people know people. Everybody knows everybody. Right. I know a lot of people, but as far as like friends, friends, yeah. like, I'm moving there. You know, three, four people that I really hang out with. Hand. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, so it's, I always say it's good to know a lot of people, but don't fuck with everybody. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? For real. <laughs> so even these celebrities get lonely sometimes, huh? Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, there's a Charlie Chaplin, uh, Charlie Chaplin, right? Uh, quote. What does he say? He goes, uh, he says, this beautiful quote. Don't need to look to Charlie Chaplin. Charlie, Cha- you know Charlie Chaplin. I thought it was the funniest thing when I. I thought about it in Kurdish as Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin. Yeah, that's <laughs> <what> I thought <laughs> about it in English as Charlie Chaplin. But yeah. I don't know, one of his quotes is uh, every comedian is hiding behind a uh, oh, some sort of mask. sad face or mask. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I just thought it was funny. But yeah, no. Um, yeah. No, no, it ha- happens. Like, I, like I see a lot of, I, I listen to a lot of comedians. Mm-hmm. You do as well, Chris yeah, Kalia. I, I watch stand up all the time. I love stand up. Yeah. Who do you guys like? Uh, well, some of my favorites are Dave Chappelle, Louis yes. C.K. Um, mm. Those Dave Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, why am I not remembering them now? But I put you Chris on the spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. You ask me yeah, all these did. questions. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I ask you one. Right. All right. Fair enough. But Chris D'Elia, that's another one. Mm-hmm. He's not uh, as famous as the other two. Right. But mm. I love him. He's you? Uh, I listen to Nick. Uh, no, sorry, Jerry Diaz. Uh, Joe Rogan, oh, Joe Rogan does, Rogan. Joe Rogan does stand up as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's the yeah, man. Yeah. And you, these people like they they speak about like the 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 depressed times in their lives as right. well. That's what I'm saying. Like, 
uh, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You know, no. I mean, Jim Jeffries. <laughs> That's the Jim other Jeff- one. But uh, like, is that the older Bill guy? Burr, no, no, Bill Burr, man. Bill Burr. Shout out to Bill Burr, man. Yeah, Chris Rock. Is that Rock. the old guy? Kind of old. He's kind uh, of short. Talks like this. He's a. Yeah. Oh, he's, a <laughs> he's an Australian, and he's very uh, open about his depression, his okay. drug use. Who, Jim Jeffries? He, yeah, he's very I dark think, guy. Uh, what is it called? Being a comedian is all about laughing at your own like pain, pain yeah, basically. Because all true, my vines true, are true. making fun of you know my mom giving me shit, my dad <laughs> yeah. giving me yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, or yeah. me being so different from everybody else. You know, in America as a curtain, so it's always about laughing at. Uh, if you can't laugh at yourself, you can't laugh at anybody. That's definitely true. Uh, you have to be silly on it. Like ex- you know, you have to accept the fact that you know some things are funny even if exactly you know, you have so. a dark thing behind them. Uh, and stand up about stand up here. It's a, it doesn't exist, and it's something that I've always wanted to. Like, I, I wish we had. And I've I've personally even tried to, Dude. you know, write things down, uh, jokes to have a set. Mm-hmm. I, I I I would love that. Even uh, me and Sanger talked about it. Shout yeah. out to Sanger. <laughs> 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 How do you Give him credit for no reason. Yeah, uh, doesn't even work for him. I know. Uh, He's gonna Snapchat me, bro. Uh-huh. Good looks with a shout out. <laughs> I did make you what you are. I'm like, I'm not shit anyway. You didn't do shit. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I think uh, stand up. I think it's super. Um, it's uh, it's the best thing. But like you said, writing your jokes down and being able to tell it naturally. It's, it's not as easy as uh, as you. Think, I know. You know? I, you, have you ever considered it? I actually did it one time at. Asia cell, you know. Oh, and, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I went over there, and uh, you, you know, their building is kind of like a circular uh, stairs all around. Mm. And I went there. We talked to um, Tak Zimming at the time. Yeah, and yeah. He was like, "Everybody, come!" Yeah, and yeah. you know, their employees are like Indians, Americans, <laughs> Kurds, true. Arabs. So three quarters didn't even speak. You know the language uh, yeah. that I was allowed oh, so to say jokes in. You were oh, speaking no. yeah, Kurdish. Yeah. yeah. Right. So then he was like, "Everybody." This is the top comedian in all oh, of Kurdistan. The pressure. That's that's the worst thing to do to a comedian. Yeah. How many people do you think there were? Well, Sanger was there. We had it on stand. There was probably about a, a hundred. You know, yeah, and these are all like, you know, intellectual people. They're like IT people, and yeah, yeah. he's like, make them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like the guy, you know, on the street. So I just said a Bro, few. Bro, all you need to do is not. <laughs> <play that's laughs> <too sad. laughs> I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> me and my manager were in that cool at the time. He had it told me the time to see. No, so I, I did that and it got a few laughs, but I was. Man. Was it a tough crowd, generally? Because they, yeah, but a few of them knew me, so they kind of okay. laughed. And, you know, I, I when I talk, I'm always talking with my hand. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like I'm a. You know, what are those people that. Uh, opera, oh, 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 orchestrators. Yeah, I'm always talking <laughs> with my hands, so I got a few laughs, but it was tough. Like, yeah, Rasta Yeah, but, but, but you weren't. Like, he put you on the spot. He like, did if, push you yeah, on the spot. If, you, if you were prepared, it would have been a different I story. Know, I know. I, I, yeah. But I, I always, like you said, I have. You write jokes down too. I right? wrote jokes down. If you don't use your notes, uh, that's what I was gonna say. You, you should get the notes. <laughs> no, <laughs> we were talking about this like in the previous video. I use. All my notes right here, I yeah. 2008 plans. Oh, you have goals. From Some like goals, you know, yeah. um, books I've read. Um, I wrote here, let's make it for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Wait, I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. Hood of truck on road. Man, what I, was it? I, I don't know what that It was a Vine that. idea, I'm oh, guessing. Maybe it was a, um, okay. But yeah, I read a lot of stuff down in notes in the past year and that has That's good. really, really helped I think me. it's really important because people don't sit down to write shit down anymore. Exactly. So. And if you don't write it down, you're probably not going to follow right. up with it and do it. So it's very important to do that. Yeah, yeah. I definitely agree. Well, hopefully, yeah, stand, stand-up will become a thing soon enough because we do have the venues. We do have the cafes that we can... Most funny. All you need a microphone and just drunk people. And, yes, <laughs> and, 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 a few beers. That's so low true. Key. Honestly, um, right. And Kurds are the funniest people. Like I don't know if you go to like a Shreniki Nergera dance, you know, yeah. Nergera or Kurds joke after joke, they'll That's dog so on you yeah. nonstop. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we don't have like no comedians to do because yeah. some of those guys they're just freestyling <laughs> joke after joke. They are really creative. Hey, wow. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Zook. Yeah. What Zook eat? <laughs> <laughs> some of the funniest people and. So yeah, we just need more entertainment, I think, uh, all yeah. around. 
Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. we, maybe we need more figures as well because, like, w- what a lot of comedians do is they'll take the piss out of other figures. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, mm-hmm. if you look at Ricky Gervais when he goes to the Golden Globes or something, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He, like, a, a big part of what comedians do is take mm-hmm. the piss out of other things. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah, know what I mean? But we're, yeah. we're very small people. I hope it works, man, honestly. Yeah. Like, all we do is listen to live concerts and... I mean, we can't, I'm not complaining about the concerts. Like, we've uh, out uh, recently God. been having a... <laughs> Boy, yeah, yeah. that's great, man. We, we need... We need some more comedy. We need more of everything, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah, this yeah. country, yeah. more of mm. more podcasts. Less, podcast. less, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> less Nergales. Yeah, we're saying after this. We're going to go with Nergales. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Come on, Sadni. All right, so <laughs> we might as well wrap it up now. With I don't want to wrap it up. For real, it's been so great, hasn't what, it? What, 37 well, minutes? Yeah, maybe. What bro, bro, about? people get scared, man. Really? We put, we, uh, when it gets to up to, like, uh, above 35 minutes, people are I like, oh, no, I don't want to Really? This I thought one. this was like, no, 10 minutes. <laughs> Me and Shad are related for anybody that didn't know, so that made it a little more natural. Partner has yeah, been yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. The setup is awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you for coming, bro. And shout out to these guys for doing the first podcast in Kurdish. Oh, you are the man, man. Don't Don't make me blush, man. Starting is always the hardest thing because I think so many people, I'm sure, who are watching have have had the idea of doing a Mm. podcast, but they never did it. And you guys... Honestly. Yeah, <laughs> you. you were the first ones to yeah. start it. So I didn't say that. Shout out. But honestly, yeah, yeah, on that topic, much. guys, uh, everyone listening, uh, it's been so nice. The support has been overwhelming, honestly. Yeah. Uh, everyone like has that, that's told us, that's commented and shared. You're helping us so much. And it's yeah. really, it, we're having fun helping you guys have fun. And that's what makes the world go around, right? Definitely. Exactly. No, I mean, Nothing but positivity. And mm. I think from them being one of the first that the first to do it probably not we uh, haven't heard of them the first one yeah. to do it i think is going to open the doors to a lot more uh, we hope so we to encourage do other that. things not yeah, just yeah. uh podcasting yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. just giving other people the confidence to start something new because mm. i'm sure there are so many people that want to do something but mm-hmm. they just don't have the courage and you guys finally started and how good does it feel it feels, it feels great man feels great. it's just like the diet once you start it, it's easy after that mm. you know anyway tell them what to do like and subscribe mm-hmm. Hama! <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and I'll die!